Let's talk about cold form steel design and visual analysis. I'm going to go ahead and draw a very simple structure here. We're just going to take a column and fix it at the base. Select it and go to its properties. And its shape, we're going to choose one of the pre-existing CFS shapes that are in there. Let's do the SSMA shapes, 50 KSI studs, and select a section and say OK. For loading, I just have self-weight, so I can go to my design view and see I have, I have a very low unity check value for this cold form shape. We're use, if we select it, we see we're using 2016 NAS slash US ASD. We are, have a couple additional parameters here regarding a strength increase for cold uh, work steel, a flange connection K phi factor, which can affect uh, your design and then all the rest of the typical design values. A common thing to want to do in cold form steel is to bundle several shapes together, or come up with a custom cold form shape. And how can we do that in visual analysis? Well, we can do that by making use of a software created by RSG software called CFS. And with CFS, you can create special shape files for your built up shapes. Those files then, once created, can be imported into visual analysis, and I have one such file. So how do we import custom CFS shapes into visual analysis? We can go to the File menu option and select under Import, Import Cold Form Library. When I do that, a dialog would come up and allow you to select your custom SCL or CFSL files. Uh, CFSL is a newer version from the software. SCL is an older version. I have created one custom SCL file and I'm going to select that and say open. And now it's telling me I need to restart visual analysis to use your new shape. So I'm going to do that. Now that I've restarted visual analysis, I can select my shape and go to the shape source and expand my custom folder at the bottom of the database list and see I have my custom CFS library that I imported. And in that library, I have several sections. And if I look at my hat shape, I have one. I can select that and say OK. And now go to my design view and see I'm getting new Unity check values using that custom shape. I can select my design group go to the design ribbon and select design the group. And when I select database, I can see that my current custom library is there and all of my categories are in that library. Let's say we switch it to a Z and select optimize. Now we'll see a couple of my custom shapes are there and I can select one of those and get you new unity check values.